Now here is a question I get asked quite a lot. How do you rid yourself of a narcissist? And it might not actually be as easy as you think. Well, you just end the relationship. We just cut it off. Narcissists, unless they've moved on to another relationship, they tend not to want to let you go because it's going to mean work for them. They're going to have to go out and start all over again. And here I am, poor me. And oh my goodness me, you're the 10th boyfriend, girlfriend I've had. And here I am having to start all over again. Don't you people just get it? You are honoured to be in a relationship with me. But sometimes, you know, you get to that point and you're able to rid yourself of this narcissist. And I'm just going to give you a few little tips to help you along the way if you're in that situation. Right. The first thing you should do is think like them. The thing about a narcissist is, you know, that's what makes them a narcissist. It's one of the characteristics. They don't believe that anybody can think like them. They think that their form of thought, their ideas, their creativity, their slyness, their, you know, whatever it is they're doing is unique to them. And nobody but nobody could possibly think at all like them. And that is one of your advantages because if you think like them, I know what he's thinking, I know what she's going to be doing next. If you think like that, then you're one step ahead of them. Say if it's Say, for instance, um, it, again, I'll speak by therapeutic experience, people that I've had. Somebody was, you know, they were, you know, coming to the end of their relationship with a narcissist and they said, oh, God, you know, I know full well that given the chance, she's going to empty the bank account. She's going to completely empty the bank account. Right. I will go there and I will speak to them because it was a joint bank account. So, you know, he, he, but he, you know, because he was a decent guy, he didn't want to empty the bank account, but he didn't want her taking everything. So he spoke to the bank that he put, they were able to put some kind of alert on it or something like that. And of course, you know, she, she would rage at him saying, I was trying to get my money, even though it was a, you know, a joint bank account. It's my money as far as she was concerned. I was trying to get my money and I was stopped. How dare you do that? And in, yeah, they were able to split up their finances equally. But that sense of thinking like they do and just being that one step ahead. As far as, you know, she would have been concerned in that situation, he just got lucky or somebody told him what to do. It wasn't actually his thought because she would never believe that he could think like she does. Narcissists don't tend to do that. Um, one of the other things is you have to go, if you're, you're breaking up with a narcissist, go no contact. It's easier said than done and people will go, well, you know, there's children involved or there's pets involved or there's work involved or there's, you know, finances involved. But as much as you can, don't get dragged into conversations or cul-de-sacs with them. A A narcissist loves nothing more than you're saying, right, we have to sort out, say, the holiday um, with the children, you know, who's going to have who and what, who's going to buy what for the holidays. And they will drag you down the cul-de-sac of, well, I don't know if I'm going to do that. What do you think the best thing is to do? Oh, well, actually, you know, the children would like, and next thing you know, you're having to apologise and explain and agree to all things that the narcissist can't be bothered to do themselves or just wants you to do as uh, as sport or as revenge for daring to to reject them and leave them because remember they were talking about people with fragile egos a narcissist is somebody with a fragile fragile ego that's developed over the years they're seeking control and power over others all the time and they have no idea of what it is like to be another person in their life as far as they're concerned they are the only person that is important and regardless of whether you have family or or work commitments or social commitments or people that you know or children it doesn't matter they're the most important person so if you have to go no contact that's the thing to do or minimal limited contract uh, contact and one of the tips here that I always say to people is if you have to speak to your narcissist about something and get some kind of arrangements made write it on a piece of paper write it down and then just keep to that because they will try and take you off on that um, tangent or take you down that particular cul-de-sac Um, And then you haven't got to the point of finding out what it is that you wanted to find out in the first place. So keep it written down and say, yeah, that's, you know, that, that, that may be so that you want to talk about next year's holidays, but I want to talk about this year's holidays and what we're doing in two weeks time. And they hate it. They hate not being in control. And they will try and make it difficult. And they will probably not give you an answer. But you can say, okay, you have not given me an answer, but 
this is what I am going to do. So the other thing about narcissists is, so you go no contact, you get your support back because they would have isolated you or they would have tried to isolate you and alienate others against you. Remember, narcissists love nothing more than a flying monkey, somebody that will agree with them, that will be their acolyte, that will be their second in command and will be you know, absolutely saying everything that they want to say. And this person could be somebody that you trusted, that you're related to even. And... Sometimes those relationships are irreparable because they put so much of them into the narcissist because, for whatever reason, that that person isn't there for you anymore. They're not trustable. And equally, maybe you need to keep your distance from that because all the time they're attached to the narcissist, then by virtue of them, you could be attached to the narcissist. And if you're trying to break up with them, that might be something that you have to come back to in, in the dunus of time or, or never sometimes. So th the last thing I'm going to say with a narcissist is when you're breaking up with them is don't get don't allow them to kind of fluster you to get you angry because that's what they will want to do they know that there's the you know they've been here before with lots of other relationships they know the signs of when a relationship is finishing and breaking up believe me they know them and they will be doing everything possible to stop the relationship breaking up because they've got to go on and find another relationship and that takes effort and they've got to be nice again etc etc and and they will also want to revenge as well. So actually, I'm not going to get back with you. I'm going to re revenge, you know, I'm going to make you suffer for making me suffer because it's all about poor me, remember. And they will like nothing more than to draw you in and they will draw you in to the point where you're raging at them, you're screaming at them. You know, they may have said, oh, but, you know, say for instance, you know, they, a vet bill again springs to mind. No, you, you said that you would help to pay towards the vet bill. This is your dog. This is the dog that you bought, remember, but you left with me and you promised that you would put a contribution towards the vet bills. I never said such a thing. You are the one and, you, you know, and you say, but it's black and white. You, that's what you agreed. And at that moment when you're screaming back at them because you're trying to scream logic at them and rational at them and reason at them because that's what they said that they were going to do. At that moment, inside that narcissist, that's the, great, gotcha, look at you, look at you, you're deranged. And they may even say it as well, but that puffs them up. That's the point where they think, I've got you, and you're a complete mess. And actually, I was quite right to start uh, uh, ending this relationship, because a narcissist will go away from a relationship when it's, it's finished, and they will be the one that decided that they didn't want to be in the relationship anymore. They were the one, you were the completely unreasonable one. They will be the one that is bruised and battered and victimised by you. But it was their decision to leave. They were the ones that, you know, they just got rid of you because you were defective or useless or anything. In my, their mind, and all these past relationships that all have themes to them, of course, they will be the one, you know, they don't actually get that they are the common denominator in all of these relationships. They're the ones that, act, you know, and what the people have, have said to them, they will be the ones that they that made the decision to end the relationship. And more often than not, rather than arguing that point, people will just go, thank goodness, you're going, you get it, I don't care, you're leaving, you're going out of the door, you're going out of my life as much as possible, if there's kids, houses, whatever involved, that doesn't always work, but you are, for a large part, you are leaving this relationship and leaving me. And if that's what you want to think, let you think that. But again, remember, that can have implications because the narcissist will happily tell everybody that they're, you know, you're the unreasonable one, so they've had to leave or, or whatever it is. But then those people would potentially believe what they have to say and that may have implications for you. So we have to be a little bit careful. You don't want to kind of go running going, no, 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 you know, it wasn't like this and, and I did this and they did that and you get into the he said, she said situation. And then they, the person... That the narcissist has been feeding, you know, all the you know mistruths to might be looking at you in your slightly deranged state, going, "Please, no, this is the truth. This is the truth." Kind of going, "Well, yeah, maybe we believe what the narcissist said in the first place. They won't believe their actual narcissist, of course." So, when you break up a relationship with a narcissist, it is hard and it is difficult. But there are a few tips there, and you know, get support. That is the most important thing. And even if that support has dried up because the narcissist has made it dried up, there is other support out there. Just look around. There is lots of other support out there. 
Thank you so much for watching. If I could ask you to subscribe and to hit the like button, that would be absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much. And keep safe and I will speak to you again soon.